about what could happen with Tom Brady in this free agency. Well, at this point, I'd be stunned if he returns to New England, to be, cool. to be very blunt about it. And I understand that people don't necessarily want to accept it. Even those close to Brady still sit there and say, yeah, but you'll walk into Bill Belichick's office. He'll lay out this master plan and all will be well again. I got to tell you, I get no sense that, that Brady is thinking that way. Instead, very much so looking toward free agency. It is not as if Tom Brady is flirting with the possibility of free agency so he can ultimately come back with the Patriots. He is absolutely looking forward to free agency. What's going to make the decision for him, though? That's the thing that's in my mind, because I'm willing to accept that he's going to leave when people, credible people like you and Schefter seem adamant that it's going to be unlikely that he comes back. Okay, he's going to leave, but what's going to make him make that decision because I'm not sure like it's it's confusing it's, to me well here's the thing uh, look look we're at a point right now where there can't be negotiations between him and other teams not until March 16th can that happen wink wink but there are a lot of other teams <laughs> there are a lot of teams guys that are interested in Tom Brady and Tom Brady has an interest in a bunch of teams sure. it's not like Tom saying right now like you know I, I we keep bringing up the Titans and sure. the he's not looking at this and saying if I don't go to the Titans I'll go back to the Patriots right He's looking at the landscape the same way, honestly, the, we are the, on this desk. The landscape is appealing, guys. The, the, the starting skill players for the, the, the Patriots right now are Matt Lacoste, Edelman, Nikhil Harry, Mohamed Sanu, and James White. The Titans are better. The Raiders are better. The Chargers are better. The Bucks are better. Like, there are more appealing you know who options. Who else is better? The 49ers are better. I think there's a ton of teams. Oh. Don't, don't get out there. But, but here's the – I think it all comes down to who can I go win the Super Bowl with. Um – but I think that the with Brady and this I don't whole think so, by the way. Th this whole story is going is like, why go back to New, New England to win a seventh? Like I think if Tom Brady goes somewhere else and wins a Super Bowl somewhere else, he leaves the conversation of greatest quarterback or greatest football ever and enters the conversation of greatest athlete ever. And he goes and does something that like well, Michael Jordan couldn't do. Jordan won six with the Bulls. He didn't win any with the Wizards. Like, can you go win a Super Bowl somewhere else other than New England? And here's the irony of it. I can't envision Tom Brady playing anywhere else. Most of us at Nobody this table can. can't. And if we're ultimately relying on the charisma of Bill Belichick <laughs> sitting in a meeting and convincing Tom Brady that that's what's going to get you back, that's right. I might be a little bit concerned. Jeff, you said something sort of almost under your breath there that, that jumped out. I don't know if it was even audible on television. But when he said he's going to go someplace to win Super Bowls, you said something that suggests that may not be his first priority. It is that, but it's more than that from my understanding. That it is about the idea of challenging himself in ways that are not just simply adding a seventh ring. Okay. It's not just resume building at this point. It's reinvigorating himself. It's 20 years in New England. Like, it, and it's not just like we're always going to make this about a, a Brady Belichick thing. And maybe that certainly has something to do with it. But it also feels to me like this is about Tom saying, you know what? Why not? That's, I mean, we said yesterday, that's, that's exciting. He's, deserved, he's earned the right to be able to do that. Which teams are we actually talking about here? Every, every, people throw out the Titans, the Bucks, the Chargers, You mentioned Chargers, the Titans, the Mike, Mike Vrabel, the connection there. You look at the Bucks. You yeah. look at the receivers they have, the weapons they have. It's warm. I know Tom Brady's a cold-weather quarterback. You remember Brett Favre late in his career? He wanted to be inside. It does not feel good when you get over 40 years old throwing a football in the cold, going down there, playing in the South, playing with Bruce, Bruce Arians, pushing the zero? football zero down percent the field. Zero percent chance on what? Why do you say zero Tampa? Because Bruce Arians is a chuck and dunk oh, I'll guy. I'll tell you right now, you're wrong on that. There is not a zero percent chance about the Bucs. Oh. Raise that right now. Dan. Really? <laughs> yes. I just Raise don't it. see it scheme-wise fitting. Like, I, I think a, a scheme-wise. Bruce Arians will be like, Tom, take a 12-step drop. We don't care. We'll figure it out. We'll have a cocktail. <laughs> together and it'll all be good. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> oh, man. Here's the other piece of this, is that Tom has entered a stage of life that, that, that I think a lot of us can uh, relate to, regardless of what we do for a living, that you have other considerations besides yeah. your profession. Yeah. Now, if I were in his situation, I might very well retire because he has that option. But he, he's got a, a wife and he's got kids and he's got family considerations. They live right near here. I know where they live. They, they live very near here. I, I don't know that New York becomes an option. They don't have the Greenwich the house that everyone thinks that they did. There it's, are options out there that no one is talking about that are going to be very interesting. You're right. A very subtle hint. <laughs> a very <laughs> subtle hint by Greeny. I know where he lives. I, think it's, I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, uh, you're, Greeny, it's not a secret right. where he lives. It, you're right. We're all under this inclination to be like, let's fit him into this box or this box. I'm telling you right now, the he's looking at this wide yeah. open. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, 
Subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.